Welcome everybody, finally, to the University of South Montana Wolverines. Let it be known straight out the gate that this is a custom made team, you won't find this on the team builder. We are basically on par, if not worse, than the FCS teams in the game. To be completely transparent, we have one good player on the entire team. Recruiting will be especially hard. The sliders themselves will be heavily, heavily pitted against us, but that doesn't mean anything. The new kids on the block are here, and they are ready to take over, step by step, year by year, trusting the process. I cannot explain to you how excited I am to start something together with you guys today. I guess what I'm trying to say is, we might not always win, but if you decide to go on this journey with me, we will have an awesome time. Again, fellas, welcome on in. This is me, Peram. Is that's how most people actually pronounce my name. We're gonna be running with our standard offense, the multiple with the 30 sub frequency. Multiple D on defense, it's just the way I like to play the game. I'm gonna be starting our coach off at level five. The difference is this time around, to counterbalance that, our progression rate will be on slow. Freshman difficulty as usual. Nah, <laughs> just kidding. Oh man, I'd get ridiculed. Heisman it is. As per usual, the computer will be set to 100 on everything, with the exception of interceptions being on 35. I want to at least give us a chance to win the game though, and not just get blown out ridiculously. I'll be setting everything for us on 20, with the exceptions of interceptions being on 35. First off, I want to thank the people at CFB Revamp for making this happen, as well as Arrowhead specifically, who took the time to make this team for us. Just for the sake of it, for this first year, please try your best to ignore the field and the jerseys. They do say Mountain West on them. We will be moving to the Mountain West in season two, just for the sake of importing it, etc. It had to be in the Mac for year one. We come in at an incredible 67 overall with a 63 offense and a 71 defense, two star school. We have to get scouting unlocked, that is the most important thing, and I'm gonna throw one into the opener and one into the closer. Our team isn't good to begin with, so both of our coordinator points are going to go into preventing injuries as much as possible. We'll start our journey by hosting rank 12 Wisconsin, hosting FCS East, before making a road trip to Cincinnati, as well as Alabama. From there, we do enter conference play. We'll just have to see how things work out. Let me make it quite clear that we need everything. I wouldn't mind a fullback. We actually do not have an active fullback on the roster, so that would be lovely. Gotta take the hometown hero out of Havre, Montana. Andy Murray, I would, you're a great tennis player. I would love to have you on the team. That's everybody from Montana on the board. Wonder how the Dakotas are doing. Three-star wide receiver, runs a 4-6-2. Welcome to the team. Okay, that is not a good way to start. <laughs> Our first ever recruit in this dynasty, first ever, is a minus nine bust. You are 48. You know what, for some reason, I feel like I'm gonna need you. Wow, Lance Charles goes up an incredible 10 overall. He's a hometown talent as well. Travis Archer, this is the guy from South Dakota, goes up six overall, six foot five, 306, very good size. I would love Travis to join the team. Every time I seem to offer a scholarship, the bonus goes down. That, I don't think that's a good sign. This guy went from 250 to 55. Our must get recruit, despite being a Juco so far, is without a doubt Thomas Davis. If a lot of these names look familiar from previous series, it's because the Patreons, the people who go the extra mile behind the scenes to support me, obviously get their name in every series that I do. So I just wanna say thank you to the Patreons personally, from myself to you, for supporting me this entire time. As you can see, our team is not very good. You might see some 80s scattered amongst the teams, but I can assure you every single one of them is a senior, which means based off the talent that we are recruiting right now, next year, if anything, when we join the Mountain West, we will actually be worse than what we are at the current moment. The one exception to this is Levi Matthews. True freshman, 81 overall. He will be the anchor, if you will. We'll hopefully eventually crack that 99 mark. So fellas, if you are excited for a brand new Dynasty complete custom team, let your voice be heard. Comment, run it up, leave a like. Let's aim for at least 1500. A lot of effort went into this project. Now onto the jerseys. We have our home jersey, our away jersey, our blue alternates with blue numbers and italic script on the helmet, a pure white alternate with the same thing. And of course, the rave in the ravine for the Friday Night Lights. Without further ado, fellas, welcome. 
to South Montana football. Go Somo! The first play in USM history. Let's get it. Atrix on the return. Our slot speedy receiver. Let's see what he can do here. We do have some space. Oh, we just can't get away. Param coaching his first game at South Montana. He's got no idea what he's doing. Metzka dropping back. Do we have an open man? We don't. They make a play on it. We are in way over our head right now. We are not in a good spot. Okay, we have X across the middle. Henderson with the first down. The first first down in school history goes to the tight end. They already know where we're running it. We might, you'll get a nice block there. AJ Yee makes five yards. If he could do that every single down, we would be in a very good position to score some points in this game. We'll take that. Henderson again. Already emerging to be one of the, the superstars early on here. That's man coverage. It's Dukes this time. I think that might be. That's Sammy Dukes. Pocket collapsing. Have to get rid of it. That's Tony Jackal, the backup running back right there. This drive is taking a long time and probably will against these harder teams. I see Bo again. I trust Bo. He's been there from the beginning. It's fourth down. Uh-oh. Do we even have a kicker? We have to go for this. The pass is off target. It's a turnover. No points for Somo. Some studs on the defensive side of the ball as well. Uh, keep an eye on our safeties. Obviously, I'm going to be using Levi Matthews here. Levi can't make the tackle. Uh-oh. Spice is the only man left. He's going to get blocked. The first play on defense is a touchdown to Wisconsin. I'm really shocked that we were unable to make that tackle with Levi. That's a damn shame. Artrix. Artrix, my bad, bro. Up the sideline. All the way to the opposition 40. Okay. Metzger. Pocket breaking down. There we go. I see the open man. The Duke almost got all three of them. All right, Metzger. <laughs> I know you're about to get crunched, my dude. Oh, no, Metzger, please. We run a very weird-looking offense. These plays are uh, nothing like we've ever run before. There we go, Tony Jackal. That is the backup running back again. He's the star player. Watch out for AJ Yee, though. Doesn't have that excel. It's mere coverage anyway. Wood breaks free. And the first touchdown in Somo history goes to Riley Wood. The dot by Metzger. Eight from 11 so far. I thought we we're going to come out here and get crunched. We are genuinely out here doing stuff. We are making plays on offense. So no matter what, this drive can't go as bad as that first one. It's physically impossible. Levi Matthews. You got to think, what made the quarterback want to just throw it like that, though? Okay, screenplay. We should have been all over that. We make the tackle. Spice takes the brunt of the force. Artrix. He does have a bit of speed to him here. The Duke move. Oh, Artrix is going to be special. All the Patreons, by the way, are juniors. So we will see them again next year. Oh, look at AJ with the speed burst there. Okay, I see you at the backfield. I see Jackal and Yee, the most dangerous backfield. Artrix out there as well. Can I let him fly? We're going to get smacked in the backfield. Not a chance. This might be a dangerous play, but we are going to try out the blitz here. Levi, oh, can he get through? He cannot. Spice on the wrap up, though. Uh oh, running backs out there. Boyce is the only man who can get him. And it's a broken tackle. Levi chasing. I don't think he has the speed. He's too much of a chunky boy. Again, just a massive gap. We just cannot close up on the holes. I would be more than happy to get into field goal range here. The problem is I don't know what field goal range is. <laughs> We're switching out of this. That blitz is too intimidating. Ooh, that's a mean blitz. Great play by Quinton, though. Okay, Metzger. That's another freaking missile up the sideline. Artrix is going to fall 
take it to the crib 31 yards do not count out south montana we got some demons out here right across the middle that's unfortunate dang all the way to the 50 though just like that I don't think he has anywhere to throw it here, Matthews! Oh, I had that locked up. Matthews just can't capitalize, though. Wisconsin has not passed the ball at all because they haven't really had to. Our time of possession is also quadruple pretty much what theirs is right now. Dang it, we got the trip, though. We'll take that. I just want to point out as well, this running back has 174 yards on us right now. Maybe I should put down the computer running back ability just a little bit. Oh, he's going to let it fly. Villain a waiver. Not even a chance of making a play at that. Danny Davis right over the top. Wow, they caught us sleeping right there. Great play by Sawyer. Wow. Ooh, look at my boy AJ! Nice! Four yards. I do want to try another read option. Oh, they're already onto it though. Kind of. Yeah, they're already in the backfield. I'm going to end up getting Mets get injured at this rate. Ooh, I thought I might be able to hit him with a step back cheese. Unfortunately, unable to. We're going to have to punt this one away. Coach is saying go for it. You know what, Coach? I'm, I'm all for it, mate. Personally. Whatever. Let's do it. Oh, there we go. We got him. AJ unable to complete the pass. We could have kept the drive alive. That's a damn shame. It would be a real shame if we let Wisconsin get away to a two-possession lead. You can see them trying to force their running back again. Could be a screen here. Watch that left side. Oh, it's not. Wide receiver screen? Nope. It's a draw! Oh, we get smacked though. We lit his ass up. They are 0 and 2 on third down conversions. I can't say the same about this one though. They would be uh, quite silly not to just run it up the guard. Which they are going to do. Cut it to the outside. Levi unable to make the tackle. <laughs> I just freaking knew it. Two possession lead. Nobody's open. Can I cut that down? I can. Artrix unable to make the catch there. Metzger looking disappointed almost. Might just have to try and hit him deep. Look, I feel like this is probably a cover two. Dudes on the outside are probably on flats here. Let's block dudes. I think we might have him with Wood. Hold on. I have him right over the middle. It's Bo Henderson. And he dropped it. No, Bo. You gotta catch those. That's a great punt again. We are killing it on the punts today. Look at that. Another one. Pretty much back on the eight. Yes, we are definitely getting into the uh, the true clock territory here, if you will. No run play. Interesting. We got to be over there. We have to be over there to make those plays. Okay, everybody's locked up. That's going to be a pick. No, it's not. Villano waiver again. He's hyped, but man, that's like three picks that we've dropped in this game. I just went through the whole playbook and coach want to do nothing but launch a deep. That's all he wants to do here. Okay, they're going to rush. I wonder if Metzger has some legs on him. I think he does. Metzger off the sideline. Okay, that's the first time we've seen him scramble. There we go. These drop passes are going to be the killer for us, mate. I can just see it now. Again, we're in a situation where we have to go for it. We're 0 and 2 on fourth down conversion. Can we hit him with the out route cheese potentially? It is mere coverage. It gets batted. And <laughs> ye with the drop. I cannot believe that got batted. We had a chance to make a, an insane play there. And ye just these drops, man. Gets the snap perfectly. Fullback locks me up. Okay, let's go. Nice! Way to get in the backfield. And there it is. There it is. I'll call a timeout just for the sake of it. But, fellas, I think it's a GG. I don't think we're scoring 14 points in a minute and a half with no timeouts.
Not happening. Great job again, another TFL. Put it on the stats. That is Buddy Supreme, by the way, our junior DT. Watch out for him. And they are gonna run this one last play. Ha! Ah, Somo, USM, Southern Montana. Gonna drop their first game. The hometown fans were extremely excited for this one. Just could not get it done. Braylon Allen, without a doubt, 240 yards. We just could not stop him today. Let it be known, I will be making some tweaks to the sliders every single episode. I think the obvious one is to start with uh, nerfing the opponent's running back just a little bit. Metzger, really good game. We did not throw an interception. Let's try and keep that streak alive. 166 with 63% completion percentage is nothing to joke at. On the rushing end, I really did try to get our boys involved. Unfortunately, just a little bit outmatched on the offensive line. Then again, our starting running back is 72 overall. On the receiving end, pretty evenly distributed. 36 yards for both Wood and Henderson Jr. Artrix with 34 as well. He also snagged a tutty on the day. On the blocking end, nothing but a sack. And defensively, you love to see it. We did have a couple of TFLs there. Unfortunately, no sacks. Uh, Brandon Boyce, our free safety. Look out for him. 73 overall, one of the better players on the defense with Levi and our safety Spice. All three of these guys should be making plays, and all three of them did step up when it really mattered. Travis Pitts, the senior. He had three tackles in his first game. You love to see it. We also had two deflections in that one. Uh, to be fair, should have been interceptions. Maybe would have turned the tide of the game, but hey, it's game one. This is a very long journey that we are starting. But fellas, if you made it this far into the video, then you are the real MVP. Hopefully you enjoy this series, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Have a good rest of your day. I'm out. Peace. Sometimes I'm winning, can I breathe right underwater? Sometimes I'm winning, can I speak in outer space? Sometimes I'm winning, can I call upon a thunder? Sometimes I'm winning, can I make the earth shake?